Hello guys, this is Storage King 221 here. It is Monday and it is time for some Tetris review. A good game come out for the NES in 1989, I do believe. It gives you two types of choices for gameplay A and B. I believe the B type makes the blocks fall faster, but I can't be sure. And it gives you three musical choices. One kind of techno, electrical. One kind of fast paced, kind of do 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 And then, of course, the classic. Do 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 I always go with that. And if you don't like music during your gameplay, you can always turn it off. I'm going to go with type A for this. I like how it. You can choose your level you want to start at. If you're an experienced gamer, you can start at level 9. Or you can just start at level 0 if you want to get the full gameplay. Now, some people, like the Fiery Joker, one of my favorite YouTubers, has said, you know, it's kind of overrated. And, you know, I, I really don't believe so. He did bring up some good points, though, about it. About it being overrated. But I really like it and I don't believe it is overrated it's and the later I'm just really bad at it but in the later levels of the game it actually gets really hard and fast paced so you really want to be an experienced puzzle gamer to play this but like I said you can start at any level you want so if you think you can go for the first level Then go right ahead, or if you think you're ready to tackle the level 9, you can do that. You're going to always want to make sure that you choose the right places to drop your blocks. As and everything can cause an almost chain reaction like thing as every block you drop affects your decision and it affects your decision affects your further gameplay every 10 levels you get to it will change colors and change levels So obviously, level, mm, excuse me, level 9 would be level 90, level 1 is level 10, and so forth. Sorry, I haven't been talking in a minute. I'm sure you're all very disappointed at that. But you'll actually learn that after a while of playing this, you'll actually shut down almost everything else. Because it's just so fast-paced and nerve-wracking that you'll need no distractions when playing. It's a really good game, and especially considering it's from Russia, they're not really talked about much in games, except of course just portraying them as drunkards or Russian communists planning to conquer America. And I really think that's unfair because they've come out with some amazing games like right here, Tetris. And then they, they're not talked about much in the gaming world. As you get up closer to the top, 
the music becomes more fast paced and exciting, kind of warning you that something bad is about to happen. And as you can see, it just did. When you lose, what happens is you lose by going all the way to the top and not being able to continue. Well, that was Tetris for the NES. And it actually sparked one of the greatest heroes of video games, the straight line. It saved many a gamer, including me. This is an amazing game, from even especially from Russia, like I mentioned previously. And really, there's no flaws. I mean, there's really your only enemy is yourself. You know, the only thing that can mess you up is you. So, that really makes it that much more fun. You can pick these up. Well, I picked it up for about six bucks. You can pick them up from anywhere from a couple bucks to mm, probably around ten dollars, depending on where you're picking them up from. A good game if you find it, take it. And if you don't have, if you don't find it, go online and get it. I give it ten falling blocks out of ten. This has been the Storage King Two Two One, wishing you a happy Monday.